We may live in a jet and information age, but most of the oil and commercial goods travel by sea. Our economies are dependent upon the safety of the sea lanes. If we control the sea, we dominate the globalized world economy, that gives us a power nobody else has. If we can control the Middle East, it will yield substantial control of the world. First of all, it's about two-thirds of the world's energy supplies, and it is absolutely crucial to the viability of the global economy and the distribution of power globally. After 500 years of Western domination, we're slowly going back to an age of indigenous control. The West was in charge of the world through imperialism and colonialism, and that's come to an end. The West is in decline. There's a revolution going on in the region. We should certainly not assume happy, happy, pro-Western democratic regimes. With all these revolts, we're going to see the revenge of geography in Bahrain, the Persian Gulf, the Straits of Hormuz, Bab el Mandeb, Egypt. The Suez Canal area is a vital part of imperial communications. Control and just drifting away. Piece Piracy is the maritime ripple effect of anarchy on land. The Indian Ocean is a mess with these piracy incidents. It's the Chinese, the Russian, the Iranian, all of the powers are going to be there. Iran is the key for the Great Gate. The basic threat that they pose is resistance, and it undermines U.S. control. If you liked Iraq and Afghanistan, then you'll love Iran. If only the Americans did not treat China as a potential enemy. China is very, very worried about the U.S. strategy and is seeking ways to counterbalance it. They're switching to a global commodities position, and that is a switch that I would characterize as the imperial switch. There will be multipolarity sooner or later. Today we have a world not only inhabited by politically awakened peoples, but of states that no longer are under the domination of the West, and that's an enormous change. Over time, the costs of running an empire tend to exceed the benefits, and that's why empires don't last forever.